What's up guys, it's your girl Nicole Dot Young, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you quite possibly the easiest, quickest, time and cost effective way that you could create a website that I have ever experienced. And the best part about it is that you can do it using Notion. Yep, I said Notion. So if you're new here or just catching up, my friend Joelle and I have set out to do a 100 day challenge where we are trying to build a company by the end of the year with the goal of making $50,000. We have been building in public and have been sharing the entire experience, the ups and downs, and the things that we are learning on all of our social platforms. So this video is a part of that, but you can also use the links down below to check our other social platforms to get daily updates and more quick, brief content on what we are learning as we go. This is going to be a little bit more in depth of a walkthrough on how you can create a site using Notion and a tool called super.so. So we are now in day seven of this 100 day challenge. And in this first week, it was really important for us to do the foundational things that were going to get us started in this business from jump. We didn't wanna to have to spend too much time in the beginning getting tons of robust sites and different things set up. So we thought that using Notion and Super.so would be a great alternative where we can create a custom website uh, that has everything that we need right now. Um, and then we can grow it or scale it later on down the line. So if you are also someone in need of a quick, simple website solution, uh, whether it be for your personal brand or for having a portfolio or digital resume, I think that this is a great solution. And if you're already using Notion, it's going to be so easy for you to get started. So I'm going to walk you through the steps that it takes to create a website. It's super simple. If you wanna see how our business site turned out, definitely wait until the end. I will show you where it started and what the styled website looks like now. So the first thing that you wanna do is create accounts on both super.so and Notion. I already have accounts on both. I'm going to be walking you guys through what it looks like on my personal site. I'm just gonna create a link site for my social media. I think that would be a really easy way to show you how to do this. Um, so once you have a site, this is going to be the dashboard that you come into on super.so and all you wanna do is click new site. You can type in the name of your new site and then it's going to ask you for a Notion page URL. All you have to do there is go to share, make sure that share to web is turned on, and then you just wanna copy that and paste it into the Notion slot here. When you hit continue, it's going to connect your Notion into this website. So you can see that it's already populated the site here. So I am currently on the free version of super.so for this personal website, but if you do want to, you know, add your custom domain or other customizations, definitely check out the link down below. Joel did a walkthrough of how he set up our custom domain on super.so when he was building out our business stack and creating the accounts that we needed for everything. Okay, so once you have your pages set up, you then want to go in and outline the content that you want on your Notion page. This can be as simple or robust as you need it to be, just do whatever it is that you need. So I already made a little outline of what I wanted my site to look like. So I have a header and a tagline, I have a call to action area here, and I also have a couple of databases that are inline databases um, and gallery view where I am using these to link to other things. So a little look into how I did that. If you want to create linked cards on your website, you can create this gallery and then you would just want to put super colon link somewhere in the properties of these cards and then put the link in there and super uses that link to make the card a clickable link to take you wherever you need to go so i think that's pretty cool and then i have some other pages that i was thinking about creating 
but we will get to that a little later. So once you have your Notion page outlined, then the real fun begins. So super.so actually has a market of different templates that you can choose from. They have both free and paid ones. And I think this is really great because it can give you a really simple, easy place to get started. I personally really like a lot of the free ones. I know that Joel uses this split template for his personal link page on his social media. We use the HQ uh, template for our Umber Society website for our business. And I actually really love this slight template uh, to create a personal website. So when you want to use a template from Notion, what you wanna do is go there and then click on the instructions that are linked in that template. It's going to prompt you to duplicate the template into your Notion workspace, create your super site using the Notion URL, which we already have done, and then you want to copy this link for the style sheet. So once you've copied the link to the style sheet, you wanna paste it in code in the head right here. And now as you can see, it's showing up. Also something I wanna mention, you can see here, it says that the custom code won't be shown until you upgrade your plan. So you do have to upgrade to that $12 a month. But again, I still feel like that's really reasonable when it comes to creating a personal website or portfolio site. We're going to save that. And so then I'm just going to hit refresh. And now, as you can see, the changes that I created in the Notion page are showing up here. Okay. And also these, I need to make sure I hide those. But that is it. I feel like this is a really simple and easy way for you to create a website for your business or portfolio or even a digital resume. I know it has really come in clutch for us as we are building our business and wanting to get it off the ground quickly. It is really easy to edit and customize in Notion, which we are already using as a project management system. So I think it's a win-win for us. So before we go, I wanted to show you just quickly what our Umber Society website looks like on the Notion side. We use the HQ template. And we added a few plugins. We have some global uh, forms and we have multiple pages as well, as well as an email subscription form. Our pages are hidden in this little toggle here. So you can also like click on those. Um, and we have a blog and a shop that are in the works. But now here is a look at what it looks like fully styled. So we built off of the HQ template and added some of our own custom styles. We will make a completely different video on what custom styles were made and how to customize the templates that you can use on Super, because I know there aren't that many resources on that. But here is what it is. We changed the background, the font, added some animations and different things like that. Again, guys, make sure that you go down to the links below and follow me and Joelle on our journey to making $50,000 in 100 days. And as always, know that I love you, I'm rooting for you, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.